Okay, now we are ready to install WordPress. And what we're going to be doing is we're going to be using a script that's called Fantastico that we're going to be using in your back office of your HostGator account. And let me tell you a little bit about Fantastico. Before Fantastico came around, installing WordPress was actually a really complicated process. You'd have to go to the WordPress website, download the WordPress software to your computer, then upload it via FTP otherwise known as file transfer protocol to your web host and then you'd have to create a database and then link the database to the WordPress that you just uploaded and going through the installation process could be very stressful and that was before Fantastico came around and now that we have Fantastico it literally takes less than a minute so you can just sit back and relax and enjoy the installation so hopefully I've convinced you that Fantastico is a good thing and nothing to stress over so really you're gonna see how easy breezy this is so what we're going to want to do is you're going to want to log into your control panel which is also called the C panel of your hosting account and you can either do that by clicking on the link that was emailed to you which then you would need to put in your login and password or you can just type in your domain followed by a forward slash C panel okay and when you do that then you log in with your username and your password and then what you're going to do is you are going to scroll down to the bottom here where underneath the software services you're going to see a smiley face that says Fantastico and so you're going to click on that now this is going to take me to the amazing Fantastico script and what you see here is a bunch of different programs and you know that you can install on your web host and this ranges from blogs to content management systems to customer relationship scripts and a number of other features of course the one that I'm interested in is WordPress so I'm just gonna click on that now okay now once I'm there um, I then go to new installation And now I'm going to go through this easy three-step process and the first step is deciding which directory I want to be in okay and first of all I well first you want to fit you want to choose your domain I have several domains here so I am going to choose the internetabundance.com and then you need to decide um, if you want to install it in a different directory of that domain for example, if internetabundance.com was a website, like a static website, and I wanted to include a blog with that, then I would maybe want type in like blog, which would mean that to get to my blog website, you would type in your domain forward slash blog. Well, I want this to be my main website, so I'm, not, I'm just going to leave that blank. Okay, now what you need to do is you need to select... Um, you need to decide what your um, administrator name is and this is what you're going to be typing and this is your login to your back panel or your C panel of your WordPress blog so with this one I'm gonna just name it internet abundance com that way I know it's a it's my internet abundance.com site and then I'm gonna put in my password next you want to put in um, a, what this admin nickname is is if you have comments enabled on your website for instance um, what's going to happen is is if you're going to reply to any comments this is the name that's going to show up so I'm just going to put admin so that's basically what's going to show up if I ever respond to any comments and this is what people will see on my comment section also um, I want to use I have another email address I'm going to use so I'm just going to do that real quick the site name is what's going to show up by default on your blog including a description so um, I'm just going to put internet abundance um, and for description um, I'll just type this is the description and then you'll see whenever I show you the actual website so next you're going to click install WordPress 
All right, the next page, what this does is it just tells me the name of the database that it will be installing on. You don't really need to pay much attention to that, so just click Finish Installation, which then takes me to the third step, which basically tells me everything has been configured. Um, it gives you your new username and your password, and it shows you the URL to your Word, WordPress admin area. And what I highly recommend is I highly recommend that you go ahead and put in your email address and have it email you what your login and password is because you have to have that in order to get into the back panel of your WordPress blog. So I'm going to go ahead and do that real quick and click send email. And it looks like it has been successfully installed. Um, so now what we'll want to do is we'll want to go check and see if it's actually up and running already. So I'm just going to open a new browser here. So I'm going to switch over to another browser and I'm going to type in internetabundance.com and let's see what, what it gets me. Okay, there's my website. That is my default website. This is using the 2011 theme and I am going to show you now how to clean this up and make it look really nice and professional. So that's the end of this tutorial. I'll see you on the next one.